Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome to a cheeky speed build on a Friday. And welcome to the Brutalist Townhouses. The Brutalist Townhouses are three separate townhouses in the world of San Myshuno. I think it's on the old salt yard or whatever that lot's called. I can't remember, but I think it's a 30 by 30 lot in that kind of spice district area of San Myshuno. And the Brutalist townhouses are townhouses, but done in a Brutalist style of architecture. I know, shocking. I'm so glad. It took me ages to think of that name. Really, really did. Um, but yeah, that's what I've decided to do. Now, I do use lots of sexy custom content today, which I will have linked down below with this video. Um, so you can go and grab it and put it in your game. But to be honest with you guys, it's all the same custom content that I use um, often. Uh, and those creators are Harry and Felix, um, both all of their collaboration packs and their kind of like standalone packs as well. Um, so get all of their stuff into your game. You can find that on houseofharlocks.com. Then I've also used my lovely Pierre Sim Sims with their oat collection. Charlie Pancakes and Little Dicker. And also, I have used some custom content stairs. And I forget the name of the creator, but we'll have them linked down below as well. So you can go and grab those stairs and put them in your game. Um, but yes, Brutalist. What is Brutalist, may you ask? Well, do you know what I'm going to do now, darlings? I'm going to flop on over to the internet and find out what it actually means. <laughs> so let's have a little look, shall we? Brutalist architecture. Here we go. <gasps> Brutalism, also known as Brutalist architecture, is a style that emerged in the 1950s and grew out of the early 20th century modernist movement. Brutalist buildings are characterised by their massive monolithic and blocky appearance with a rigid geometric style and large-scale use of poured concrete. Well, there you go, darlings. That, that, that is brutalist architecture in a nutshell now do i like brutalist architecture um i like some buildings the barbican center in london i really really love that building i think it's really really it's great to listed as well as is quite a lot of um brutalist architecture actually we've got quite a lot of brutalist architecture in plymouth in devon where i live um and mm, some of it is quite fugly and I know that it's not to everybody's taste, it's not. But the fun thing with building in The Sims is you don't necessarily have to build in your kind of like tastes all the time. And that is what I tried to do today. Yes, this is kind of very updated on the interiors. It's very minimal in the interiors as well. Um, but I still kept all of the bare concrete inside and that is definitely not to everybody's taste. Myself included, I don't think I could live in a bare concrete building. I don't know, actually. If it had massive modern windows and lots of greenery, which is what I do in this build itself, um, I reckon I would like it. And if the concrete did have underfloor heating as well, I would love it even more, darlings. But my personal tastes, I'm not all that into Brutalist architecture, to be honest with you. But um, if you do want to have a look at a gorgeous Brutalist or brutal, Brutalism building, um, as I said, go and check out the Barbican Centre in London or just Google it and you'll be able to see it. And that was kind of a little bit of an inspiration for these houses. Now, each house, I've only furnished one. I furnished one. I didn't furnish the other two. I've just left them blank on the interiors. So you guys can put your own stamps on them. I always know that you like when I do that, when I make townhouses now. So I always make sure to at least do one or two of them. But in this case, I just decided to do one. Um, And they all got three bedrooms. They've all got... Uh, four levels I think yeah three levels above and then one basement level as well the the townhouse that I did I put a swimming pool in the basement but you'll see that in a little jiffy later on darlings but what I wanted to do with this a big concrete block that we've got going outside here is I wanted to soften it down and bring it into the landscape by using lots of greenery I love love in architecture when concrete is mixed with lots of greenery it's my favorite I absolutely adore it so that is what I decided to do today. Now, this is a bit of a shorter speed build than normal. I'm usually going for about 30, 40 minutes chatting utter shit to you all. But today, it's just a nice little 20-something minutes. I think it's going to come out to be at the end. But um, but yeah, 
I did have fun. I did have fun making this um, build again because I'm playing with all of the custom content a lot in my speed builds. Don't you worry though, you console players. I will um, in the future do a couple, especially when it gets to um, spooky month. I will be doing a few CC free kind of spooky builds for you guys to get in your game. So if you've got anything you want me to build, um, minus the Adams Family House, I do not want to build the Adams Family House. I get asked to build the Adams Family House every year. And it's just one of those builds that I personally don't think works well in The Sims. It just doesn't look right. The scaling of it just looks weird. The Adams Family House is iconic and it just doesn't work in the game. It doesn't. I've only seen a couple that I liked in the past and um, I just don't want to build it. So <laughs> anything that you want me to build spooky wise, whether you've seen in a TV or horror, um, a TV show or horror film, then please let me know down below because it all starts next week, darling. Spooky, spooky, bitchy month because it starts next week. So yes, that's what's going to go on. That is what is going to go on. Um, but yeah, here we are, climbing Ivy up. I actually put Skylax at the top here as well. Climbed a bit of Ivy up all at the front, just again to just ground it into the landscape around it and just put some greenery on the building. I just think it looks attractive when it's like that. Now, the one CC pack that did come into play a lot with this house were, or these houses, was Harry's Brutalist bathroom pack. Some gorgeous pieces in that, and it allowed me to create some really, really interesting, what well, I think anyway, I love that flooring. Well, we're gone now, but that flooring at the front there with all like the sort of like quartz sort of crystals, chipped bits in them. Do you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of an Asda shopping store back in the back in the 90s because <laughs> that was the same tiles that they had in there I always remember it and do you know why I always remember it because I, ha I used to have a nightmare a reoccurring nightmare that I was running along on those tiles that those brutalism tiles and all of a sudden there was a big slope and it had those tiles and I was sliding down it and at the bottom there was a lift or an elevator from wherever you are in the world and to I don't know if anybody's ever watched Beetlejuice, but you know the part when he turns into the, the snake, the staircase turns into the snake. Two of them started coming out of the lift and trying to bite my ankles. And I always remember that nightmare and I bloody hated it. So yeah, I don't know why I went into that, but there we go. Anyway, look at us. We're down in the basement level. As I said, we do a um, swimming pool down here. Now I am, this changes here. I actually put like a little kind of shower moment down here like an open shower so you can shower before you get in the pool and whatnot but um the pool shape was just not working for me so that is what we decided to do instead i i am um, made the pool shape a little bit better you can see it now i did it off of camera though but you'll be able to see it now and then i used these arches down here as well i just think they added something and i was like i need like a mirror texture or something behind them though and i was like oh that one will work but it's too big so i do this smaller one and I think I get rid of the middle one. I can't remember. Maybe. Um, and I just like those arches down here, down in the basement level, next to all of this like water. And I just think it looks really cool. Really, really nice little space, this. And again, very minimal. This house is extremely minimal. So I was very picky on where I was going to be putting furniture and stuff. So you'll see me testing a few here and there um, just to make sure that everything is kind of like as minimal as it can be without looking kind of bare, empty and soulless. Even though grey would kind of look a little bit soulless to me, which is why I, I tried to hit it with so much green in this house that it kind of overtook from that. And yes, very much liked it. Very much liked it indeed. Um, but yeah, lovely little pool area. Anyway, we're into the kitchen. Into the kitchen, I end up using Harry's brownstone kitchen in here, but I wanted a fresher colour, so I went for a white kitchen in here and it just made this crisp, white look come throughout here and i really like it really really like it um and the brownstone kitchen is probably one of my favorites as well i think it's absolutely stunning uh, and it's got this big bifold door that's got a little um patio area that goes down into the main garden space as well and i just i just all in all like it oh that light is by a creator called tuds i actually use their um uh, modular wardrobe as well up in the bedroom so i'll make sure to link his stuff down below as well um all their stuff i don't know their gender so i'm not going to assume their gender and um, so i'm going to um yeah i'll link all of that down below darling it's down below but that gorgeous fridge from little dicker which i absolutely love i think it's so gorgeous um i just love the big the use of it like we haven't got a big fridge space 
um, or a fridge in the actual kind of build catalogs, which is why I like it there. Now ignore the wooden planks that I put on the back there, the, those like wooden panels that are from Snowy Escape. Um, I like the texture of it. I just wanted a different texture on there. But the lighting on that was just throwing me off every time I was looking at it. You can see what the Sims 4 lighting does. It just looks awful. So I end up getting rid of that and I use a nice concrete wall texture from the Brutalist pack from Harry instead. And it just, it looks a whole lot better, darlings. It really, really does. Very much does the Doge and I'm very much forward to Doge. Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, I'm losing my breath here. What are you lot up to this weekend? I always love hearing what you guys get up to this weekend. I am having a big fat chill out. That's what I'm doing, darlings. I cannot wait because next weekend um, it's another one of my friend's birthdays and I'm going to have to go out again and I'm going to be hungover again. And it's just, God, it's just, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, to be honest with you. But um, what I'm going to have to do is just take that Monday off. Not this Monday coming, the week after. And also I need to do that as well because I'm prepping and go. I'm going to the first concert since the whole COVID situation up in Bristol next Tuesday to watch my favourite band in the world, the Staves. Um, so I'm kind of like prepping for that as well because I'm going to have to pre-record a couple of videos for those days too. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know about that. Anyway, bathroom. The only bathroom that you see me furnish in this house just because I wanted you to see these beautiful objects from that brute. You've seen them. If you haven't, then you're missing out. But the Brutalist pack from Harry is just gorgeous. I love that like quartzy chipped um, concrete texture. I absolutely love that. And I utilize it in here. Um, and I think it looks nice. I think it looks very nice. Uh, I would have loved if Harry did these. I know they're like meant for like sinks to go on top of them and stuff. But I wish that we could have just put them anywhere. Like put them at any height. And I know I could with the tall mod and stuff. But just for some architectural details and stuff. I would have loved that. Would have loved it. But... I'm not complaining because Harry does enough for us all already. Um, I actually changed that mirror out as well. The kind of um, uh, looped mirror that's coming from the ceiling. I changed that out. It's just, I love it. It's just not, it didn't fit with the vibe in here, I didn't think. Using these wall pieces here as well. And I just think it, and those have got snap points on top of them too, which you can put up all your goodies and whatnot. And I actually tried to look for a loo row to go in here, but um, there wasn't anywhere to put a loo row in easy reach of that toilet. So... I'm um, just going to pretend that the toilet was a B-day as well. Um, and that is the storyline and that is what I'm sticking to. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> but um, I do love this bathroom. Do really like it. Again, I moodily lit this whole place. A lot of kind of floor um, level lighting through this room, which I love. And up into the living area. So using the living room um, sofas. I love these. The Belize. Are they called Belize or something? I can't remember what the designer is. Um, but yeah, I do like them. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like these sofas in real life. I've actually sat on one of the real sofas in real life and they are really comfy. I'm just not keen on the overall look, the look of them, but I like how stylish they are and like how style, like they fit into these kind of like stylish, minimal spaces. But for me, for my personal taste, I'm just not a fan of Chesterfield, no matter how kind of like, um, I don't know, modern takes or anything of Chesterfield I'm just not a fan of it it reminds me of younger when my parents used to have a Chesterfield sofa and I just can't be dealing with a bit of Chesterfield darling here I am struggling trying to find a painting in the end I used these glass panels from Little Dicker I just thought it added a nice little bit of art onto the wall this little glass moment on top of this concrete texture that beautiful wallpaper there that you're seeing now <gasps> love that that's from Harry's pack as well beautiful a um, couple of peacemaker desks from his Vara pack, I think it is. The Vara. Yeah, the Vara office set. Uh, I just think they fit in this space really well. Lots of glass and concrete together in here. Um, very nice indeed. Very nice. Very nice space. And just an open-aired office as well. Like no kind of segregation or separation um, panels or anything. I just wanted everything up here because of the windows and the view from this level is amazing. I just wanted everything to be as open as you possibly can. Now, I only show you how I furnish one of the bedrooms as well, but you'll see that in just a minute. Um, the other two, I just differ, differed them slightly, but I did go ahead and show you show you one of them in the video tour at the end as well. So, But yes, anyway, still in the living room. Over this bit here, I end up using the living room bookcases. Um, I just love them. They fit into so many builds. Traditional, modern, um, contemporary, minimal. They fit into a lot. And yes, managed to 
flop it in here, darlings. Flop it in there. Anyway, up into the master suite. So this is the master suite now. Uh, just wanted, this is quite a nice level as well. I think this is on the third floor. Hang on, I don't know how many floors we've got here. One, two, three, I don't know. A third, I think this is the third floor. And then we've got, how, how many levels have we got here? Hang on. So we've got the kitchen on one level. Then above it is the living room. Then above that is the master suite. So yeah, this is on the third level. And then the guest or the other two bedrooms are on the fourth level. So it's actually a five level house i can include in the basement i thought it was four it's not it's five um and this is that modular kind of gorgeous beautiful wardrobe set from tuds um i will leave a link down below so you can go and get this downloaded into your game as well i just think it's stunning um so much better swatches than the um dream home decorator and much better style i think as well i just prefer the style of this a little bit more modern a little bit more me a little bit more you know just je ne sais quoi bien at the end of the day um after this what am i doing you may say you're probably not even wondering but what i'm gonna do is fire up new world and get in that bloody queue or the queue simulator these queues to get into this new game darlings there is no joke they take about two hours um so i'm going to fire that up and queue for the evening and that is what i'm going to spend my evening doing playing some games i haven't played enough games this week because i've been either too hungover all too busy with work um so that's what i'm going to be doing darlings yes i am and i hope you have a lovely evening as well i really do i hope you have a lovely evening now i don't know what i've got oh yeah i know what we end on we go from the master suite down into the little garden area as well um love the look of it here like this particular bit overlooking like the main kind of like square really nice um i don't know why that was cut out that was weirdly cut out then and i don't know why um no idea no idea but we're going to continue on and this is the garden this is the garden just kept it very again this the house blending in with the house very minimal with concrete and lots of green but yes that's it anyway my darlings i'm going to leave you now thank you so much for watching you're an absolute gemstone all of you i really really appreciate you um i'll be back on monday with a video i'm unsure as to what video that will be but it will be a monday video um so five videos next week lovely jubbly um and that's it i'll see you all then thank you so much for watching have a lovely weekend goodbye